Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum along with Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. And it starts out with this cool little bass riff, and if you wanted to kind of kind of match those licks, you could start seven on the A string, and we do that twice, and then fifth on the D string, and then seven on the A, and then fifth on the A string, and then third fret on the A string, and then second fret on the A string. So you're actually playing an E, E, G, E, B, C. So seven, seven, five, seven, five, three, two, and later on that that lick gets mixed up a little bit where you go seven, seven, five, seven, or five on the A, and then you take third on the A string, and then kind of do a slide to fifth fret, and then go back to third on the A, and then second fret on the A. So you'd have seven, seven, five, seven, five, three, five, three, two, seven, seven, five, seven, five, three, five, three. Now the chords that can kind of back up that lick that would start on an E minor chord. Let me play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor we can kind of go to a C major chord. And when we play C major, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we could go to a B7 chord. And we play B7. First finger goes to the D on the first fret. Second finger on the A string, second fret. Third finger on the G string, second fret. And the pinky on the high E on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord. It sounds really nasty. It's not supposed to. So you can kind of back that up with that E minor, da 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 C B seven, E minor, da 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 C B seven. Now a lot of times with a song like this, though, to kind of support my voice, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down down up up down up. So we took the E minor, just tried that a lot. You know, down down. Up. that to our verse part is doing the whole strum pattern on the E minor and then you can do just a down down up on the C down down up on the E7 so you have E minor down up up down C down down E7 down you may want to try is kind of doing that with, with kind of downs and muting actually if you want to make this really sneaky you can take the flat of your right hand and kind of lay it down on top of the saddle and just work down strokes on that E minor and then when you get to the C and the B7 you can kind of do four downs on each one so it'd be eight on the E minor four on the C four on the B7 so you have E minor two three four five six seven eight C B7 E minor kind of start we end up doing that eight times and then we go to kind of a tag to that where we go to a G major chord and we play G major first finger goes to the A on the second fret second finger on the low E string on the third fret and third finger on the high E string on the third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really really happy and then from the G on the tag we go to an A major chord and we play A major first finger goes to the D on the second fret Second finger on the G string, second fret, and the third finger on the B string on the second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. So you may want to kind of work that part with kind of those eight downs, kind of the G, A, kind of big build up. Or if you wanted to, you could even kind of do just down, down, up, up, down, up through it, and have G, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, up. Kind of leads us into kind of our, our, our instrumental part actually it was kind of like a break like our, our intro and we ended up doing the kind of that main lick uh, four times kind of that E minor C B7 and then we hit that same tag on the G and A so we tried it that way we have E minor which you may want to do is kind of take those two ways of doing it and kind of mix them up actually alternating between them can be a very very cool thing to kind of see what you can say with the tune Back into 
our intro part where we kind of do, do that, that main lick. And we end up doing that four times actually to kind of lead us into our next verse. Now something else you may want to play around with with that lick though is adding power chords. And so if you took the first finger and went to the seventh fret on the A string, third finger on the D string on the ninth fret, if you strum the A and the D string, that's something called an E5 power chord. So you can almost kind of back up the lick with power chords by using that shape for the notes of the lick. So if we go from there to the D string on the fifth fret, third finger on the G string on the on the seventh fret, and if you strum just the D and, and the G string together, that's a G5 power chord. And then we could go back to the E5, and then we could slide that down two frets to fifth and seventh, and, that, and now we got a D5 power chord. And if you take that shape and slide it down two frets to third and fifth fret, that's a C5 power chord. And if you slide that down one more fret, then that's a B5 power chord. So you can kind of almost back up that leg with that shape, which can be a very, very cool thing. E, G, E, D, C, D, C, B. So you want to kind of play around with those shapes to kind of make that a little bit thicker. <laughs> solo part you'll kind of hear where, where, where that idea kind of gets moved up even higher and if you wanted to kind of match some of those notes you could go G string on the ninth fret and then go to eighth fret on the B string ninth on the G twice and then you could take seven on the B string and kind of do a bend on the seventh fret on the B and then play seven straight up and then we go back to nine on the G string twice eight on the B nine on the G twice and then eight on the B but then we could do a slide to 10 and then go back to eight on the B and then seventh fret on the B. So you'd have nine, nine, eight, nine, nine, seven, bend, seven, nine, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight, eight, ten, eight, seven. So that might be kind of a cool way to kind of, kind of play through part of the lead. <laughs> and a lot of those notes actually are something called the pentatonic scale. And actually I have a video called Talking with the Guitar with something called the pentatonic map where we take a lot of those notes and kind of play around with those notes actually to kind of play lead stuff so if you're more interested in kind of lead stuff that might be kind of a cool cool video to go check out to see like this could be a cool tune to kind of jam over with that scale and then from there though then we kind of end up going back into our our, our main verse part so you could work kind of the, the, the E5 or the E's with kind of the downs and the C and the B7. Or you might want to kind of try the power chords too. E, C, B. Or you could try and kind of match that lick with the power chords. Or you could just play it straight up too. So that lots of ways to kind of mix that up through the verse part. And after we do that eight times, then we end up back on our G tag and then our A tag. From there, then we go right back into that main progression again. And we end up doing that eight times, actually, kind of E minor, C, B7, E minor, C, B7. But something else you may want to think about adding to the song, too, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, especially if you're kind of digging on the strumming, you can do the low E string for your bass on your E minor chord. On your C chord, you have the A for the bass. And on the B7, you'd have the A string for the bass. So if we're gonna try that with basses, you could have E minor with the bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, E7 with an A bass, E minor with the bass, C with an A bass, E7 with an A bass, E minor with the bass, C with an A bass, E7 with an A bass, E minor with the bass, C with an A bass, E7 with an A bass. You're basically gonna be repeating that until you get back to that G A tag, and you could do that with the low E bass for the G, and then the A with an A bass. You may just want to kind of keep that with kind of those downs, actually. It kind of matches the tune a little bit better. And then from there, then we're back into kind of our E minor C B7 progression again. So E minor C B7. how you can strum through Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. So good luck.